Hey everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to hide an app in the Android app drawer. A uh, few things to know, it's completely free and it does not require root. So to prove my point, I'm going to be hiding the app called Cubic Man. And what you need to do is download an app called Launcher Pro. Install it and once that's done, press your home button. And you're going to get this option and what selecting the default for Launcher Pro will do is make Launcher Pro the default home screen application. As you can see, even the app drawer has been altered, but Cubic Man is still there. So, in order to hide it, what you need to do is from this main screen is press the menu button, preferences, general settings, hidden apps, and it's going to give you a list of all your apps. And in this example, like I said, we're going to hide Cubic Man, so I'm going to check that, press save. It's going to ask you to restart Launcher Pro, just press yes. Go back home. You open the app drawer, you'll notice that Cubic Man is no longer there. Now you might be wondering how the heck do you open it now once an app is hidden? It's very simple. In this example, I will be selecting, see this little dock bar at the bottom? I'm going to be selecting this little Android guy over here. Long press on it and press swipe gesture icon. And it's going to ask you which action do you want to perform? You're going to say launch application. From here you're going to find sorry, the app you selected, which in this case is Cubic Man. Now, this is what's going to happen. If you press this little Android phone book guy normally, it'll open up the dialer. But if you swipe upwards on him, it opens the app Cubic Man. That's how simple it is. And in case you want to make it even more secretive, what you can do is press the menu button again preferences, dock settings, number of docks, and make it two. Restart Launcher Pro. And now you're going to notice if you swipe this way, you're going to have a whole bunch of docks. So if you don't want to hide it in the main dock, you can hide it in one of these other apps over here. So you have a lot of options to do so. But there is one con. I mean, it's that easy. There's always going to be a con, right? If you go to the Android application settings, manage applications, you're gonna see that Cubic Man is still here, it's still listed as an app. So it's not foolproof, but hey, it doesn't require root, it's really simple and fast, and it's great if you know you have a younger sibling you're afraid that might beat your score in a game, or if you have an app that has personal information you don't want to share, at least it's gone from your app drawer. In order to put it back, you just do the reversal of everything I showed you. So go open the menu, preferences, general, hidden apps, uncheck the app, press save, restart, open the app drawer, and there's Cubic Man. Simple as that. Okay, you might be wondering how the heck do you stop making Launcher Pro your default home screen app. It's really simple. The most obvious way is to uninstall the app. Personally, I don't recommend you do that. Uh, it's really simple to use. It's just like your generic Android home screen, but the sheer amount of options to customize it is just ridiculous. But if you do want to, you know, go back to your old original home screen, then you can uninstall it or you can go to the Android application settings. Select applications manage applications, go down to Launcher Pro, clear defaults over here, and if you press the home button again, you'll see that Launcher Pro is no longer the default home screen app. It's that simple, so if you want more Android news, tech tips, or how-to videos, subscribe to my channel or check out my website, and I'll see you then. Thanks.